Hey everybody, I want to welcome you to this week's Dental Up Podcast. Well, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this week we have Dr. Howard Pfeffer from La Mesa, California. Dr. Pfeffer, it's great to see you, man. That's awesome, dude. Uh, heck, we've been, how many years we've been together now? We started in the early 80s. <laughs> like so, 30 years. Right. And I just, God, I remember you. Back in the day, I worked at another lab, but we don't want to say no. I worked at this lab and used to call in, and it's just, uh, you really got us, you know, back in the day, we started doing big cases together and kind of cut our, cut our chops uh, together. But uh, thank you so much for coming down. I really appreciate this, and uh, thank you so much. You know, I'd like to start off talking a little bit about sports. Uh, I'm a big sports guy, but we've got this March Madness. We have a, uh, a pool that we're doing here at Keating Dental Arts, and... I'm actually in like 11th place. I'm not doing too bad for uh, not knowing what the heck I picked. You know, it's, just, it's, it's a, a lot of luck in Boston. It's a lot don't. of luck. We actually, <laughs> did you even know we were doing a, a, a tournament? You know, I got to probably oh, do Oh, yeah, it. no, I'm a big sports fan, yeah. too. Huge. But um, we have a we have a $100,000 thing we were going to do if you get a perfect bracket. You know how hard that is. And so <laughs> the first day, that was kind of off. But... You get like, uh, we have different prizes, like 3,000 for first, 2,000 for second. So still a lot of dentists are in the running. Like last night with Arizona losing, that just kind of, that hurts so many brackets, my bracket especially. I still got UCLA winning it all, and tonight they're playing. So come on, Bruins. <laughs> we got to get the Bruins to win it, man. I tell you, I could care less who else wins out. But uh, it's been 95 since they won one. And, you know, I think they have the most, uh, championships in, in the college, like, like 11, but uh, it's been 45 years, you know, we've won one in 45 years, so you think UCLA is so dominant, but, you know, uh, they got a really great team this year, highest scoring offense, Lonzo Ball and this Leaf kid and a couple other key players, uh, Bruce Alford's, uh, you know, kids playing there, and he, I heard he's going to be going to Indiana maybe or something, because that's his alma mater, but... Go Bruins tonight. We want them to win, win it all. Um, but, uh, you know, hey, let's go ahead and start. So we met way back in the day, and uh, we've been together ever since. And, you know, you just got an awesome practice out there in San Diego. It's a, a, a little town called La Mesa. Have you been there forever from the start, or what, what year did you start off there? Yeah, La Mesa is, uh, right. you know, just a little uh, a town that's basically San Diego. And so... Um, I opened the practice there in 1976. Oh, jeez! And uh, little practice, you know, uh, three chair, three chairs basically, and um, and op opened it from scratch. And I had ideas about what I wanted to do. That's why I did it from scratch because I didn't want to buy everybody else's um, ideas, uh, ideas and, and problems. Yeah. So I opened it from scratch, and I knew I wanted to. I knew from, from dental school that I wanted to go in the direction of Crown and Bridge. And so, it, um, so I, as I started and I would get involved in some of these large cases, I really, I'm not the kind of guy that likes to be a pioneer. I don't like to go where I don't know where I'm going, and, and either in a car or in a, in a case. But I would cut these cases, these Crown and Bridge, uh, and quality was always something that wasn't going to be compromised with me, and and that's so so I, that was my challenge. And I would cut these cases. Some sometimes I would get an eight nine unit case, and I would cut them, and it would be done. And I would be sending it. And I knew I had connected with you a little <laughs> bit. I knew there was a guy, a, a manager at a, at a large lab uh, named Sean, and I would call and ask to speak to Sean, and I would tell you that I've got a case coming, eight or nine units, and I'm worried about it. I don't know if it's going to draw well. I don't know if it's going to, you know, if it's going to, if the bite's going to be right. And you invariably just said to me, you just send it in, Feb. We're going to, it'll work perfect. And you know what? It, it always did. Oh, and I never forgot that. Can you believe that? I remember that was back in like 87, 88, and on talking with you and that, and you know, I really learned a lot through you, and I remember talking to you all the time, Howard Pfeffer, because it's a unique name, man, and I just always remembered you, and uh, it's just something, we worked together for years there, and then when I started my company in 2002, when I left that lab after 17 years, and then I started my, my lab in 2002, I was like, you're like, Sean, this is great, and you were talking about it, your practice at that time, 
because you're a big fix guy. I mean, you were always doing, you know, we did a lot of big stuff and we still do. I mean, but uh, you were like wanting to venture into the removable aspect in house. And I remember, Sean, you got any removable guys, this and that. And I, I gave you some guys from Orange County that, you know, I didn't know anyone in San Diego that could go out. And, and removable guys are kind of a lost art and kind of a, a lot of older guys, you know, not a lot of younger guys are pick, taking up partials and dentures and stuff like that. But I remember you saying, Sean, I'm, I've got this idea and this plan because you were always, even too, like 90s, I remember you used to lecture and you really pushed the envelope on your big thing was marketing and you were just a freaking well-rounded. You not only had really good hands as a dentist, but you just had a really good vision in your mind and how to grow your practice. And that's why, I mean... I was looking at our numbers, it's just crazy. I mean, even I just pulled them up just from 2006 because from 2002 to 2006, I had LabNet and then I changed the software to what I have now. And I mean, we did, I mean, it's like $1,433,000. I mean, it's just crazy. It's just so, so much for, about, for a little lab bill. But, um, but dude, I remember, tell me a little bit about um, when, we were talking about you in 2002 that you were going to do in-house and do your own denture stuff. Tell me, tell me what your thoughts and, and how that turned out. Well, that's an interesting story, and, and you're going to be surprised about this, too, because I had this, uh, someone gave me this idea about, you know, you could put a little, uh, get a technician, and, and, and uh, you can market the idea that you're going to do some in-house, you have an in-house lab, and you can do some denture work. Now, I didn't really like doing dentures. I really didn't. But what I found, because I, I tinkered in it, and what I found was that it wasn't about the dentures. Believe it or not, we did a little marketing of that, and what I was attracting was Crown and Bridge. I was attracting people that wanted to avoid dentures also. And that, be, that was more important than the dentures. And what happened, so I kept it going, and it, and it, and it was working. And what happened after that was... Um, a couple of years after the 2002 time, implants became a key feature, okay? I had been doing implants a lot, but I was always frustrated with attachments. But then um, some, some uh, innovations came in. It became incredible. And so then it became, again, it's a funny thing. It's kind of marketing the denture, but also marketing over dentures, over partials, Crown and Bridge, um, both regular Crown and Bridge and implant Crown and Bridge, and it's all over the years. It's all come together, and it's been it's been pretty amazing. It really is. I mean, I go into your office, and it literally you have people sitting everywhere. It reminds me of like my doctor's office or whatever when it's like flu season, and it's just an amazing thing because I go to quite a few offices and. Uh, uh, there's no one in their offices, not that much, I mean, but it's just amazing. Um, and then I hear, like, as we go down, me and the wife go down to San Diego and stuff, and we just like to go down, like, the gas lamp district for a night. We'll take the Surfliner train down and, you know, go down to Petco and watch a concert or whatever. But lo and behold, like, we're seeing you on TV and stuff, and, like, dude, what is that where, I mean, you do, like, TV commercials and all that stuff? Are you, like, one of the guys, like... Like the sofa king guy, or I'm so fucking bitch. No, it's uh, just what tell me about that. Are you doing do you do a lot of how's that work? You're yeah, like we the TV guy. We, we started uh, doing, I used, uh, I've always been, um, you know, I, I think if I was, I think if I wasn't a dentist, I'd be in sales and, and marketing because it always has fascinated me. And so I found a way of doing, of getting the word out using the, the TV medium. Um, I've pretty much dabbled in all the mediums, but um, the TV medium has worked out really well for this, and so... Um, Is that super expensive, or what? You well, think? well, you have to, there's, <laughs> the, you know, you make, um, you make certain uh, relationships, and you try to, you know, you negotiate things, and make that's how it's for been. certain, yeah, you, you know, yeah, time periods, it's, and... Yeah, it's taken, you know, it started, that part started, uh, you know, around 2000, and it's been going on all the way that's amazing yeah, it's been fun that is so cool dude now what about with um you know we've got so many up and coming new dentists i mean a lot of my guys are, have been doing this 20 30 years but so many new guys are out there and you know 
what do you think of like the digital stuff coming out now with you know the digital chair side scanners for like say your Cerex and stuff like that and what do you think about any of the the mediums of you know impression taken via you know sending it you know through the internet stuff like that we're older guys and stuff in this you know it's kind of train a dog do new tricks it's just what do you think you feel well, it's got a big part you think it's gonna be a small segment or the younger techie type dentists right. and stuff I think they're going that way a little bit I don't know well, I mean, what do you think well I'll tell you what I think I, I think that I've always approached technology with um, like I said I don't like to be a pioneer and this this is part of what I'm talking about I you know these new things come on and and I kind of you know I'm I'm afraid almost to step in too soon um, but I want to still I, I don't want to compromise myself yeah. so I'll give you an example um, you know things like uh, digital x-rays uh, when they first came out now I happen to be building the new office but um, around the, you know around 2000 2002 and nothing has uh, it, it, I could work without digital x-rays it's uh, doing uh, endo and doing implants it's like uh, it's it's like uh, you know it gives me a, a view of, of exactly where I'm going instantaneously it's it's I can't tell you um, other things like um, certain things with endo and things have been amazing. But right from the beginning, the CERC machines, they got excited, you know, people got excited about them. I kind of questioned whether it was just a marketing thing. I didn't need their marketing, okay? Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm always interested in quality. And I just have to tell you that um, with all due respect to the other people, I see a lot of people that come to my office for problems from other from the outside mm -hmm. okay they need help and I am I have never been impressed with Sarah crowns and I never <laughs> will be I've taken so many off because of open margins to me um, there's nothing like taking a good impression and sending it to a guy like you well, seriously yeah. Yeah, it's it's something um, you know I really appreciate that is that's an awesome to say that and you know I think Sarah some of the Sarah guys that are good at it. I mean, you could always find something when there's a product out there that you're getting the cream of the crop when you're seeing the guys out there that are advertising, kind of like when you see dogs and stuff. You know, it's a hundred thousand dogs to get one to look like that, and or whatever. But the Cerec, it's 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 a lot tougher than it seems, and it takes uh, quite a bit of uh, knowledge and experience and trial and error. And you can know, you, can you do multiple units with you Cerec? You can do multiple yeah. units. You know, single units, this and that. I think you can do some bridge work here and there, short, shorter spans now. But it's just something back, what you're seeing probably was some of the first generation or so of the, of the porcelain, uh, you know, the pucks that are, the zirconia that's being used is not very aesthetic at all. And I mean, even too, all the monolithics from the early days was just nasty looking stuff. We have to stain it and it's just a pure white material that we're trying to infiltrate and stain and glaze. And it's really not a real aesthetic material, but you know it's just something um it's it's improved a lot with the aesthetics now um iva claire's came in with some uh pucks and ingots and stuff like that for them to use but it's come a long way there but i just see you know it's almost like a whole lab in there you know and you you got this system and it's a lot of time and stuff you know it's a couple hours for each patient but they can come in and go out i can see a smaller practice that is not doing a lot of dentistry i can see it working but I just see other people that you know have a couple of associates and they do it old school with an impression and it, it works you know but um right. some of the guys that are there because it's under such high magnification and the computers won't kind of let you go to the next step unless it's you know uh you know accurate and you can see it clearly so it makes guys practice a little bit better now i think uh you know back in the days they probably weren't as accurate you know probably trying to scan the margins and stuff but there's some great guys with it it does work well uh for certain people but i don't know i'm kind of an old school guy still like it the old way <laughs> i am too so what do you think when you uh have you ever recommended our lab to other guys or do you talk to many other dentists stuff like that well i have <laughs> okay i have to tell you sean um it, you know since the day i i came in um you know, when I was younger, I, I couldn't wait to, uh, on Fridays, I always took some Friday time off, and uh, that would be uh, coaching time for my kids. They were, they were athletic, and I loved it. Um, I 
I really, I, I don't know what it is. I, I never really got involved on a, on a, uh, a level with dentists. Um, I, I, um, I gave seminars. I love, again, coaching and if I, have, if I can help. But I don't like uh, mixing. You don't, you don't like hanging out. I don't. Hey, like. I got a lot of and so I don't. The same thing. You know, and and so I don't. So when people ask me about dentists, you're asking the wrong guy. And <laughs> that's so cool. What about what did you coach in? Uh, in because I coach my I have two boys, and I know I met your daughters. She's a she's a smart cookie. She's like uh, she's doing your mark. Is she yeah. Like she works. Head? She one of my daughters works for me. So uh, she's uh, doing great. Um, but uh, I coached soccer. I, you know, I didn't know anything about soccer, but uh, I, I, you know, I'm athletic. I played a lot of sports myself, and I loved coaching. Yeah. I read all the John Wooden books, yeah. talking about basketball, oh, and Vince Lombardi books. So coaching is amazing. And I got news for you. That's part of the reason why I loved in the 90s when I was doing seminars and, 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 and helping dentists. Yeah. Okay? I consider that like coaching and teaching also. I wish San Diego had a dental school because I would love to do some teaching. No kidding. But they don't, so. Well, we got Loma Linda University over here. We do a lot of their work over there. We can yeah. get you, you know, we can, you should because what you have, I mean, I think it is, repli you know, uh, you could replicate it. Oh, yeah. And, and I definitely. just think, you know, you're just such a nice guy and... You run a, I mean, you're a worker bee. There's a lot of guys that, you know, they want to work a couple days a week and just live the life. And you're you're in there grinding. I mean, you work Monday through Thursday yeah. every day. And yeah. you, I mean, when I come in your office, sometimes I'm like, I can't see you, Sean. And you're you're in trance. I see you over and looking to, because you can see right through and you can see you sitting there over here and you got your microscopes and loops and just, you're going to town. And you just, it's an amazing practice. And like, for you to be doing it all these years, <clears throat> I mean, you're kind of winding down a little bit, I would think. And I mean, you got a gold mine of a practice, but at the end of the day, there's more to it than just working your ass off. I and mean, yeah. we're all getting older. But to give back a little bit, I think you should do something down the line. I mean, we do a lot of uh, educational things here. We do a lot of over the shoulder programs on this chair, and we could do some live with those. But even too with you, man, you gotta you gotta do something with. You know, helping out, maybe do some courses, but well, you, you know. yeah, you you have to realize that um, it, it is. I'm 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 older than people tell me. I'm older than I look, <clears throat> and um, but it's time. And and as we sit here, uh, I'm in the final stages of uh, of um, of moving on. And and my you know, I'm not gonna after when I'm uh, finished uh, in the practice, uh, I'm not gonna go to the mall every day with my wife. I'm gonna stay busy and what I want to do is I want to consult and so I'm going to consult with younger guys or dentists in the San Diego area and and also reach out I've done it before I've sold tapes I've so I have I have information for people and I like I say I love coaching and teaching so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that that's what I'm gonna be doing that is so great to hear no that is awesome because it's uh, you're the real deal a lot of guys they like to go out there and talk. They don't, they've really <laughs> never been in the trenches that much. And it's like, I got a lot of guys that are, you know, I love hearing them. But it's like, dude, you know, you can't shake a stick at, you know, what you got, you know. And I got I got numbers here. I, I can't believe all the implants we've done. And you're a big uh, semi-precious PFM guy, too. And I always told you, you know, you know, semi-precious is probably your best bond, you know, to PFMs. You That's know? what I wanted. It's the strongest. It's the best marginal integrity. As you get to those high nobles, uh, whites and high noble yellows, it gets softer, you know, and that whole flexing and it's just, uh, but semi is just awesome. And you do a lot of our ultras, you know, I think you really come to like that. And that's just your zirconia substructure that we layer with the Cerebi and CZR. But, um... Just across the bar too, so many attachments, so many implants, and it's just so smooth. And it's just, it's such a pleasure to work with you with um, your attitude and your staff. I mean, how many staff do you have there? You got- I have 13. 13, mm -hmm. all girls? All, 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 no, well, I have a, a Dr. Rifkin who yep. uh, works with me, and then I also have two uh, lab techs, the denture techs, uh, one's a manager, uh, and so they work, um, the other two men. So we have four guys, no and nine kidding. girls. No kidding, yeah. that's amazing. And um, 
What about on your ops? How many ops are you working out of? You're we have of... we have six, no. six full full ops. And you just kind of bounce from you know op to op, and or are you is that one that your main one there, or you have ones that you're doing endo in, one you're doing well, surgery. I have, I have one... one that I'm um, I'm in the chair. That's where I'm doing either uh, the crown of bridge, endo uh, implants, or whatever, and then. And then there's another one that we, we get a lot of the consultations in or exams. Then I have a couple of hygienists. And so uh, part of the art of what I do is what I do in that cons consultation room. Mm -hmm. I've had, uh, you know, we, we, get, we get the biggest problems in San Diego and people come in and I take a look at that panel and um, I've got it down. I know how to, uh, I know what works, what won't work. I know uh, what's going to uh, help the patient. And so um, that's so. Yeah, the people tell me that, and I, and at the same time, I'm doing um, um, with the hygienist doing um, recalls. So it's pretty. It's kind of like people tell me it's kind of like watching a chef in a in a busy restaurant. Oh, but I'm but I'm enjoying it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I'm I'm enjoying because I have good people. That's what it's and about. And that's the really. key. I've learned that. I have I have um, assistants that are just amazing. All of my people are good people, and they've, and they've been there. I don't have turnover. Yeah. See, that's where we come together, and I think with a lot of successful companies and businesses, it's when you do take care of your people, and they stay with you. And exactly. And there's no turnover, so there's not retraining this new person every three months, and I think it's the same thing in, like, football teams I talk about, or basketball teams, when you can have a core unit that's together, that wins together, fights together, lives together, kind of, it's a neat thing, and you really do take care of your people and the staff. I mean, when you go in there, when you talk to them, they're all upbeat, they're all just, they're all there to kind of help, and there's no, you know, separation. It's kind of all cohesive unit. It's yeah. just, a, it's a neat thing. And I think that's in life. You know, you could be a plumber, a painter, or, you know, um, whatever business, lawyers, you know, it, you just got to take your staff and treat them good and, and find the best staff and, and take care of them, you know, pay them right. Try, try not to get stinsy and chintzy here and there when, you look at the big picture that they're going to be with you 10, 15, 20, 30 years, and it makes your job easier, and it just all works, you know, when you're all working together and firing on all cylinders. Absolutely. And it's just such a neat thing. When you say that, it just it makes me feel really good. Now, what do you think, for a few tips you can give dentists, you know, what do you think they can do to help out, say, with their marketing? Like, do you, do you don't, I mean, you're the master at it, and I don't, you know, you do a lot of things, but for new guys coming out, I mean, what do you think? Do the yellow page ad, do some mailers, you know? Well, kinda, I'll you know. tell you, it's a great question, and, and let me try to answer it this way. Um, I really, I, I might not mix with Dennis, okay, but I have a lot of respect for Dennis, a lot of respect, especially the young guys, um, because um, there's, I really believe this, um, I would debate anybody. I don't think there's a harder, a, a tougher profession in the world than dentistry because the 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 uh, what we have to do is so difficult. It takes you know that's what you're trained to do, and then you come out and you have to do that. And besides that, you have to know how to run a business. You, we've had no business training. How to run people, um, you know, a staff. You're not a psychologist. How to uh, market, uh, you're not, you, you know nothing about marketing. I mean, you have to do all of these things to be successful. And it's, it's, it's devastating. And I, th I think it's why people always say, you know, dentists uh, lead all professions in heart attacks, suicides, and divorce. Well, there's a lot of stress in dentistry. So, so I think that, um, I think that you got, you know, to get help somewhere is so critical. And I have to tell you, and this is what I learned on myself, I don't think the help is out there. I think we're, we're inundated every day on these things online, and it used to be in the mail, courses, this, that, and I'll get you 100 patients a, a month, and, and you take them, and it doesn't work. And so, so because of what I told you before about being, uh, you know, all about marketing and, and sales, just that was my thing, I developed my own. I learned, I, I had this drive and I learned how to do it myself. And then that's what you said, the word 
then when I met with a, a marketing guy once, I was trying to learn how to market veneers, okay? And, and he saw my practice and he said, Howard, is, is what you do, is it duplicatable? I said, yeah. And that's when we put together our seminar and I gave about six seminars in the 90s and they were unbelievable. Um, and they helped Dennis incredibly. I don't even want to tell you how incredibly because it would sound silly, yeah. okay? But it was really effective. Um, and then there's reasons that we stopped had to do with the, the, the other fella that got a little greedy. Yeah. So anyway, and then I went on to sell the tapes. So my advice would be that um, you have to, the, 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 probably the one main thing, as far as marketing is concerned, that's, a, that's something that varies according to your practice and according to what's available. Now we have the internet. There's different ways. You have, you have to do something because that's what I learned. I learned in the beginning, I'm not going to sit back and wait for people to find me. It's not going to happen. I have to. Remember, I started from scratch. I have to find a way to bring some people to me. But once you bring them, and that's you, you work that out, you figure that out. Once you bring them, then I have to tell you, I think the biggest factor of all is you can have everything you can have if you want. You can have all your equipment, you can have your staff, you can have everything. You can even bring the patients in. But I used to have probably the most, the most popular aspect of my seminar, probably the number one and the tape af afterwards that sold a lot was what I called selling dentistry. And that to me is the number one thing that that a dentist has to learn. You have to, you have to make people desire and value what you have, and that's the key. And to, and so when I was starting back in our day, and I was starting to do these bigger cases, I realized something very important. I realized that my competition wasn't the dentist around the corner or even across the hall. That wasn't my competition. I realized that my competition was the jeweler, the car dealer, the travel agent. I had to make people value what I had so that I could compete with them. Yeah. And Absolutely. I just want to tell you, uh, I don't want to go, go on and on, but I just want to tell you that what I've developed over the years, and I, I use this every day because now I'm dealing with cases really big yeah. involving implants and oh, and it's the same principles and what I have I have no problem um, what I have for you the patient I have no problem um, expressing it and and showing you that it's actually more value I have an advantage over the car dealer I don't think they can compete with us with me yeah. so it's it's about learning how to do this, and and, um, I, and I think if you put it all together, then you can have a very successful career. That is so, that, that is just great advice there, and you know, we're gonna have to get those tapes out of the old... Uh, no, but the tapes have been <laughs> modified and improved for 20 years, so now, uh, you know, I'm you ready, gonna, and I'm gonna do this. Are I'm you gonna, gonna do it? Yeah, I'm Let gonna, I'm gonna know, because yeah. I'd like to send it out to all our clients to see if they would be interested in it. Um, like I said, we do have a lot of younger dentists starting out with us, and even my vet guys, you know, they might be interested in some aspects because it's not like the old days where absolutely patients are walking in the door easily nowadays. It's it's uh, it's pretty tough and fierce. I mean, especially out here in the L.A. area, Orange County, there's three, four hundred doctors on every corner. It seems like, and they're all chasing it to the bottom dollar, and that's that's not going to get it. There's going to be more to it, and the patients. They, you know, they kind of got with this 50% off and all this coupon yeah. strategy yeah. with the, the malls and the stuff like that with sales and that, that's not a real good thing. Well, I'm but definitely going to be doing it. My daughter's pushing me. Stacy wants me to do it and I'm going to do it because I'm, you know, I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to be doing. And so if, if, um, if your people um, get in touch with you, uh, let me know and, yeah, and I'll be developing how I'm going to do it. That'd be awesome. We could replicate a Pfeffer practice, and it is really, it's a, you run a real smooth practice. It's very predictable, and it's very consistent. Um, gosh, it's just, it's an awesome thing. Well, hey, I want to thank you so much for this uh, short and sweet today. We got Friday night. We got Bruins today, baby. <laughs> 
Got me a little lunchtime coming up here too, looks like though. Yeah. But uh, Dr. Pfeffer, thank you so much for coming and visiting today. Um, want to thank you if there's anything ever you need from us. You know that with me, man. If you need anything, you need those cases done in a couple of days too. Certain patients, you know, will do that. And, right. um, you know, I just can't thank you enough for all the years and all, you know, you've uh, you supported us here in our techs and they were so happy to see you out there today on the yeah, floor and seeing Bob, Brandon, and yeah. Jim McEcker, and you're just talking how important those guys for the, all these years, and they're just glowing seeing you and stuff, and it's just, uh, I can't thank you enough. And you know what? I can't thank you enough either. I appreciate everything you've done for me. Oh, that's awesome, man. Well, everybody, hey, thank you for tuning, this, uh, tuning in this week's uh, Dental Up podcast here at Keating Dental Arts. Make sure you subscribe to us on iTunes and uh, leave a review. We also uh, have uh, an Instagram account. It's pretty cool. Uh, is it Keating Dental, I think? And then uh, if you ever want to go on YouTube, we got a bunch of videos, a lot of education videos. And I don't know if you know it, all these uh, podcasts are kind of put on YouTube also. You don't have to watch it, but you can just listen to it now. But uh, <laughs> I want to thank you all again for listening this week. And... Go Bruins. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.